Hello. Today I am self-hosting Cirques NG. A fork of Cirques. A free open source internet meta search engine. Which aggregates results from more than 70 search services. Cirques removes all private data from requests going to these search services, as well as blocking any tracker or advertising coming from a third party. All private data requests going to the result pages, are removed as well. On top of all this, if you want to keep your IP address undisclosed, and you want the search engine to be accessible anywhere from the internet, from desktop and mobile, you will want to set up the service on a VPS. Which is what I'm about to do in this tutorial. In the description section below, I link to videos where I cover everything regarding how to set up a basic server on a VPS. Including, getting a domain for free, buying an anonymous VPS with Bitcoin, installing an OS, configuring it, etc. If at any point you're confused, scroll down and watch those videos first. Let's begin. The public IP address of my VPS is already pointing to a domain that I control. Metasearch.adin.io In the links below, you can see me deal with all this. Getting a domain name, buying and setting up a VPS, and creating a DNS record for linking one to the other. Ok. So I will SSH into my server. And install three packages. Git. Docker.io. And Docker Compose. Add two firewall rules. Accept incoming connections to port 80 and port 443. Now let's move to user local, which is where we will download the Cirx software. Go to the Cirx ng docker repository and clone it to this path with the command git clone. Go to the Cirx ng subdirectory and create a strong secret key. Add it to the settings file. We're almost done. Edit the environment file. Type your domain name. And an email. Fake or real. For a Let's Encrypt SSL certificate. To run Cirques ng, type the following command from the working directory. The first time you run it, it might take a while. Docker Compose. Up. You can add the flag, D, for running it as a daemon. Finished. You should have, these three Docker containers running. Let's check it out. Docker takes care of the Cirx engine, the web server setup, and the SSL certificate. Pretty neat. At this point, I already have a running Cirx instance, but there's a few things I need to fix. For example, look what happens when I go back through my browsing history. This is a common issue, and has an easy fix. In Cirx preferences, change the HTTP method, from post, to get. Something else I want for my Cirx engine, is the autocomplete function. Again. Preferences, and choose your preferred autocomplete backend. These changes do not persist across sessions in the client. For making them permanent, you must edit the settings file, in the server. First, let's shut down the Cirx server. Docker Compose, down. In server, specify the HTTP GET method. 
In the CIRCS NG web page, go to Administrator Documentation. Engines and Settings. Settings.yaml. You can add any of these options to your CIRCS configuration file, to tweak the defaults as needed. I'm interested in the first two options from the search section. I don't want results filtered, and I want the auto-completion feed from DuckDuckGo. Take a minute to go through the tabs, in Preferences, and learn about the kinds of things you can customize. Once you've decided, go to the documentation, and add what you need to the settings file. This would be a good time for you to add your Cirque's domain, to all your device's homepage. OK. One last thing. I am going to run Cirque's in G as a service that will start running on boot. There's already a template for this in the working directory. I will rename it and take a look at it. Make sure that your working directory is correct, and that the docker compose binary is in the right path. I will check. Mine is, in, user bin. I need to change that. Enable the service. And start it. Everything is working correctly. And Cirques NG will run on startup automatically. This is how you update Cirques NG. Docker Compose, Pull, and Restart the Service. You can try out Cirques in G, right now, in your regular home computer. Follow all the steps on this guide, and ignore the environment config file. Then type, localhost, in your web browser. And you're done. When you are ready to level up, go get a VPS and a domain name. Have fun!